check out my friend, Lillian. She has totally mastered what we call neutral position as she balances her fingers on the keys. This is Lillian, and she has absolutely mastered neutral position. Look at the level wrist. I can walk across that ridge, whip, 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 going to the piano castle. Very nice, Lillian. Neutral position is a simple, balanced state of resting your fingers on the keys. The great piano teacher, Dorothy Taubman, realized that pianists can balance in the piano as simply as one can stand on the floor. She used the word contacting to describe this simple balance when the weight of the hand and the forearm balance behind the fingers. You can even have this same balance after you play a key, balancing in the key bed. To find neutral position, pick up your hands as if you are holding a book, palms facing upward. Then turn your palms toward the piano and balance your hand and forearm over your fingertips on the keys. It doesn't matter which keys you cover as long as your hands and fingers stay in their natural position, just like they look and feel when they're hanging freely at your side. If your fingers are not stretching apart from each other, you will be covering about three to four white keys. Depending on the size of your hand, the longer fingers will be closer to the black keys or maybe just over the black keys. The fingers will be in their natural shape and all the knuckles will be present and not collapsed or holding up and there should definitely be no sinking in the wrist. You want to feel the contact of your fingertips with the keys and feel the weight of the forearm and hand combine with gravity as you rest down over the fingertips. There will be no feeling of holding up in the shoulders or upper arm. You will feel the weight of the forearm and the hand behind the fingers. Remember, the keys are weighted and will support you. My friend Mimi will demonstrate how you find neutral position. You should practice doing this every day in each practice session. To find neutral position, simply pretend to hold a book and then just flip over. And what you're going to be covering is about three to four white keys. The long fingers will be in their natural shape so they're not curling. They might be over or near the black keys. If you want to be a little more out, you can be like that. So her hand's pretty small, so her long fingers, if they're not curling, are near the black keys. Is that curling? Not curling, is it? Yeah, that's good. And she's covering three white keys, these three right here. Let's do it with the right hand. Pretend to hold a book and flip. The nice thing about the holding a book is it keeps, sometimes people hold their elbow out away from their body. Now pretend to hold a book. You have to keep your upper arm down when you pretend to hold a book, don't you? So that gets the elbow in the right place. Now just flip. And we found a trick when Mimi, we're going to close our eyes as we do it. So this time, pretend to hold a book. Close your eyes. Now just flip them. Wherever they land, they land. Very nice. So she's covering three white keys, and there's no curling of these fingers. They feel nice and free. Nice and free. Very nice. Hey, Percy the Pug here, and I just want to remind you that keys are weighted, so they will support you as you rest down easily on the tops of the keys. You should practice doing this every day in each practice session. <laughs>